D kids don't watch this, but we're not kids. So it's, it's not kids content for us. We're good. And welcome to GT Not Live, where it's another scary day. And that's not because Ash is back from vacation. Boo! Oh, the, whoa! Oh, no. Ash, how was your vacation in three sentences? Oh, it was quite wonderful. One. It was the most peace I've experienced since I was 10 years old. Two, which is concerning because that's like half your life. So 50% of your life has been encapsulated in this one trip to the UK. Great. Awesome. I'm glad you were able to find that peace. I spent time with some of my favorite people on the planet and two very amazing sheep. Awesome. Great. Were they... Okay. I got to ask about the sheep. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> I'm just... Didn't expect the sheep drop there. Uh, were they like cute fuzzy sheep or were they the like dirty nasty sheep that like roll around in the dirt and have all this stuff like captured in their sheep fur? Wool. <laughs> <laughs> Wool's the word I'm looking for there. Sheep fur. Sheep. Um, a little bit of both. A little bit of both, half and half? They had that duality in them. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, they were wonderful. You would love them, Matt. I, I love any sheep. Here's the thing. I love all sheep. I think sheep are awesome. But my experience dictates in, in all the sheep that I've met in my life, it always tends to be, they're either like really well-maintained and like super nice and, mm -hmm. and coat is like perfect. Right. Or they're just nasty, like nasty sheep. <laughs> All the nastiest sheep, and there's like all the grit and grime in there, and whatever. And it's, it's fine. Like that's they are nature's animals. That is how they exist. Like they are meant to be that way. But they're it's all like all the haze trapped in there, and you're like, oh yeah, that's a sheep that got down and dirty with it. Oh yeah. So I was curious what oh, level yeah. of sheep we we're talking about here. Oh no, they're going out. They're going out in the wilderness, eating all the grass, rolling mm -hmm. around in the Welsh Welsh countryside. Ooh, Welsh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. The Welsh sheep. They're a different kind. Welsh, Welsh, Welsh. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tried. It didn't work. Oh, thank uh, you. While you were gone, uh, there's been a new series that's been starting to crop up and one that I've been seeing more and more requested Okay. that I've been holding on so that way the two of us can do it together. I, Sam, who's been filling in and who you'll see kind of peppering in through uploads, uh, who's been doing a great job behind the camera and... Oh, and I feel like he and I have gotten a good chance to bond, the classic Michigan grandpa. He and I have come a long way in our relationship. It's been nice, but it's good to have you back. And uh, there are certain pieces of content that I'm like, oh, Sam can handle this. Some pieces of content, though, I think are best reserved uh, for you, Ash. And, and I think the one that we have today is, is one of those, okay. at least as I understand it, right? Because um, you, you frequent the, the TikTok. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that anymore on YouTube. I have a, I have a hypothesis that YouTube might slowly be throttling videos that relate to the opponent platform oh, okay. because they're like, wait a minute, YouTube Shorts is a thing. So everything happens on YouTube Shorts and any other platforms that post short form content don't exist. So I've been wondering, like I've been trying to dial back any mentions of like the double T platform on, on our stuff. <laughs> I like that. Everyone says like, oh, they, they unalived themselves. This is my version of unaliving. <laughs> What? Saying the the not the <laughs> double T platform or the other platforms. How everyone like everyone's afraid of like YouTube, you know, shutting down their videos because they say the word like killed. And, and, oh right. And yes. so it's like, well, so they everyone says unalived. Well, this is mine of the like back in the day when everyone the uh, the coronavirus was one of those like words that everyone was nervous about, and so you came up with all the creative ways of saying that. Yeah, like the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Right, exactly. So I need a, a fun, creative way of saying TikTok at this point. The Ooh. Double T. Right. The, the old double T. The old double T. The old double T. So this is a double T series. Okay. Called BV Key. Or this is a double T creator called BV Key. And it's been recommended a couple times for us on the subreddit. And I saw, a, you know, I saw a picture of a creepy clown woman. And I was intrigued. Oh, uh, so, that'll do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I saw a creepy clown woman looking like a, a horror character. I'm like, yeah, that, that's us. That, that's a win right there. Our audience, the our audience understands the assignment and they gave it to us. <laughs> yep. So uh, a bunch of you have recommended this over on the Game Theory subreddit. I saw a couple glimpses of it. I'm like, I'm holding on to this. And so we're, we're filming this one today. So are you ready to hop into some creepy 
lore reaction live theory crafting? Yeah, I just got off of a break. My, you know, my threshold is a little bit stronger now, so let's do it. Great. Awesome. Let's let's hop into it. So I believe it is this. It's not your normal kids show. Oh. Which is Oh, kids yeah. This yeah. is where we need to be. The, the, right, the, this is where we exist. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you had your delightful romp through the countryside with your sheep. <laughs> Welcome back to disturbing kids shows that aren't actually kids shows. Yay. Woo! <laughs> so it looks like and and first I like there's five posts in this. So this should be fairly efficient, I think. But uh, before we get into those, like across the board, it seems like BV Key has done a, a ton of stuff. Like, I mean, has been doing stuff for a long time and has a lot of different series. I, I see ghosts peeking in here. That's a win. Like across the board, I'm seeing like solid, solid work. Oh, wait a minute. Well, well yes. Do you know this person? Oh my gosh. Wait, I've seen, um, she does like the Kardashian like content, right? Yes. 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 There, there's a couple of Kardashian that. sketches on here, but you also have like some of these like creepy monster things. You don't sound. Right? We'll probably have to cut some of this because it's. Could I sound but look anything? at this. Like this is this is Whoa. awesome. Like the makeup is solid. The lighting is great. Silly, I'm plastic. I don't even have a voice box. I had to borrow this one. Right. Look at that. This is super disturbing. It's great. Like, already you can see that the making of a horror series... Here, okay, this one's got 9.6 million views, so this is, this is solid. Okay, this is actually, I think, part of it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's hop into the BV key, not your normal kid show. Not, not your normal kid show. Here we go. I'm assuming this is the approved playlist, so ready? I'm so ready. Let's hop in. Woo! Hashtag acting. Acting! Hashtag acting! Hashtag weird core. That's, that, feels, that feels on brand. Oh, I feel yeah. like all of our stuff is hashtag weird core. Are you familiar with the like hashtag core sort of um, fields that are happening on TikTok now? No. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll explain it a little bit more later in the episode. Okay. After we've gone through some of this. Okay. Sounds good. Here we go. Do you know the tall man? Do you know where the tall man is? Here we go. D kids don't watch this, but we're not kids. So it's, it's not kids content for us. We're good. See, seriously kids, don't watch it. So if you're a kid, turn away, get out of here. Great. I love this already. I love that it's the voice from Mandela Catalog. I was about to say, I recognize that. Right? <laughs> it's, it's absolutely the voice from Mandela Catalog. <laughs> there, it's a connected universe, Ash. Whoa. That is, that is that is Gabriel. That's it. It's happening. Wow. Universes are colliding here. BV key to the lore. BV key to the lore. Yes, that's correct. Like the unlock. We've unlocked the lore. Yeah, with, uh -huh, with that's the BV key. Unlocked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, she's going to answer the phone and it's going to be talking about shepherds. And angels flying overhead. <laughs> Alternates are gonna be walking around. It's gonna have a stretched out face and mouth. Please, please. Why don't you open the door? I would not open that door. Open. The contacts, wow. it's great. Oops, wrong number. <laughs> don't remember. See, this is this is great advice. I feel like for for kids, I don't, I don't know why there's a disclaimer at the beginning of this for kids not to watch this because this is important advice for families across across all ages. Honestly, don't open the door to strangers. Sure. Wonder where Tallman went. Oh, I guess we should get something to eat. Everyone loves a nice plate of crepes. <laughs> Like next thing you know, I'm gonna have a stretched out face. <laughs> there it is. 
all the time we have for today. Thank you everyone for tuning into our show. We hope you've had a lot of fun and learned some new things. Please contact us at Easton Tolman. Nice jamming out. Cool. So what have we learned here today? Friends, uh, <laughs> don't be careful of the tall guy, I guess. Don't open the door to strangers. Creepy contacts will go a long way in your life. Make sure you have a mobile phone or a phone with caller ID. Yeah, so that way, but then it would just come in as an unknown number. Well, don't answer unknown numbers. Sometimes you gotta answer. It could be the bank. It could be the bank. Does the bank call as unknown? Sometimes. Usually I'd get like, well, Sometimes the bank calls and it's an unknown number and they're like, hey, where's your bank? Insert bank here. And then they're like, hey, give us your personal information. And then you do. And then they remove a lot of money from your account because it wasn't the bank, it was, was it? <gasps> no! <laughs> Damn it! What have I been doing this whole time? <laughs> makes you think about that call you got about your car's extended warranty. Now, really makes it? you Oh my gosh, wait, did they not need my social security number for that? No, And I my know. grandma's middle name, darn it! <laughs> Shoot. And what my first pet's name was? I was about to say the first pet's name, uh, what yeah. My, what the make and model of my first car? Oh, dang oh, it. My mother's maiden name? Where I went to elementary school? I've been so forthcoming with my information! <laughs> what a fool I've been! Yeah, see, this is why you, you, you can't try... Also, this phone isn't connected to anything, right? Look, that is not a connected phone. I... That is... That's not... That's, that phone is not even working. That is a haunted phone right there. Uh-oh. Some tells me, haunted phone. Oops, wrong number. But remember... Those are creepy cut. Have you ever worn, I've always wondered this, because coming in from the theater world, sometimes people have to wear the creepy contact lenses or the alternate colored contact lenses, and people do it at Halloween all the time. Have you ever worn any of those? I've always wondered, is it hard, like does it affect your vision at all? Are they I, uncomfortable? I've always wondered this. I've also wondered that. Have, you've never had to use them? No. Let me know down in the comments. I'm, I'm genuinely so curious about this, because it's so effective, like this is so effective and spooky. Um, this shot is terrifying. But I've always wondered, like, if, if she's looking through this, like, net in front of her eye, is that, can you see through that? I don't know. I've worn contact lenses for decades at this point. They literally have the most piece I've ever found in half my life. But... But do you wear contacts? Uh, I used to. And now they're just in, permanently implanted in my eye. I, I wear a, a... So I got this new surgery uh, called ICL surgery that they oh. layer it into your eye. It's oh, great. Wow. It's amazing. Okay. It's better than LASIK, they shaved down your eye, but my eyesight was so bad. They're like, we'd have to shave down so much of your eye, it would be unhealthy. Oh. And so instead, oh. we're putting you through this new process, which is amazing, where they basically do a little incision and, and unroll a permanent contact lens in your eye. Completely oh. reversible. So if my eyesight gets worse or better or whatever, like they can pop it back out or if there's problems. Wow. Yeah, but it's it's great. That's pretty neat. And and it's game changing because my I was getting to the point where my eyes were having a really hard time with contact lenses. And... Like, uh, they were just too dry, and I was having a really hard time putting them in every day, so. Yep. That's pretty cool. It's awesome. It's, it's great. It is more expensive, unfortunately, and, but, but that's because the technology is still new, and they're still, like, it's really popular in Japan, but the U.S. hasn't, because LASIK has taken over the market for this sort of thing. Mm. The, it, this is safer than LASIK and this and that, but bit by bit, it's, it's slowly building awareness, but it's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. I wonder where Tallman went. So, oh, I guess we should get something to eat. Everyone loves a nice plate of. So is this a, is so are we dealing with like a glitched reality here where she is a real like this is what it really is, but there's a pseudo reality layered on top of this, like oh she is actually handing us bugs and and this is the illusion or the like hallucination breaking down in this moment. And so it actually is bugs. Crepes. Bon appetit. What? <laughs> Love it. Great. It's really, it's actually really effective. It's a good, it's a good effect. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for today. Thank you everyone for tuning into our show. We hope you've had a lot of fun and learned some new things. And so this is an in, so this is telling us that this is an in-universe show. Okay. Cool. I like it. This next one looks very different. 
Be careful about who you open the door to. Don't open the door to strangers! We learned that! Are you not paying attention to this little creepy kid show? Cran Apple Juice's comment says, You can't stop me from opening the door to strangers. I highly not recommended. Don't do it, man. Don't trust it. Jamming out. Yeah. Copyright neutral music. Maybe not. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Nope. See, if someone's knocking that hard on your door, it's not inspiring me to rush to open the door for you. Like, just a normal knock could fool me into that. The second you start pounding heavily, I feel like that's, that's a red flag. Right? That's a warning sign right there. Also, based on the lighting of this shot, it looks like, oh, it's probably dark outside. Right. We've got, like, the green lights in the background yeah. and the warmer light obviously coming from, like, a vanity or some, like, right. makeup light. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's evening dark. time. No. So that makes it significantly worse. That is not, like, the the pizza guy. The, the gentle knock of a pizza guy, right? <laughs> the gentle knock of a pizza guy. Yeah, the gentle caressing knock of a pizza guy. <laughs> No, this that is that is aggressive, and honestly, to be fair, like he's knocking really hard. I'm assuming you just gotta that says impatience. You gotta like, hey, let it go. Also, her door's not locked. This is a ver that is a vertical deadbolt. Don't trust uh -oh. that. That's not good. Like you're only being held together by that little pin. That thing is easily breakable. Get out of there. You open the door to the heavy. No, bad bad call. Do not want. Hardcore. Let the tall man in. Into your heart. <laughs> He's like Slender Man. <laughs> awesome. Oh, see, don't, oh, 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 gets me every time. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I, wait, are you telling me that I shouldn't trust the instructions on the blood-soaked business card that was slipped through my door? Darn it. How could I have been so blind, Ash? I, I know, if we'd only waited three seconds for the red text to fade on. <laughs> right, if only. Oh. If only that blood-soaked business card hadn't misled me with its very simple and ominous instructions. What was I thinking? I, should, I feel like you, at, at VidCon, you go, around, you go around and you receive a lot of business cards. A lot of people hand out business cards. Mm -hmm. I feel like if more of the business cards I received were blood-soaked, Capture my attention. I wouldn't really call this soaked. I'd say drizzled. S spattered? Yeah, like a little Jackson Pollock situation. <laughs> splotch. Blood splotch. Blood splotch. See, uh, see, that's why I'm saying. Okay, then. That's fair. I'll give you that. Okay. I need my business cards soaked. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's <laughs> hot. Can you imagine if someone went around being like, hey, I'm I'm new YouTuber X. I'm gonna check out my channel. Here's my business card. And they hand it to you, and it's literally just like soaked in water. And oh, it's just like floppy it's and actively wet. Oh, actively sopping. <laughs> sopping business <laughs> just right there. Oh, great. Bonus points if in seeped in blood. Oh, but yeah. you know, I'll I'll accept just a generally wet business card. <laughs> It's a flop. It's just disintegrating in your hand, and you're like, what? It smells like pennies. It's like, ugh. It's, it's the new, because some of, you know, the, the whole business card business is fascinating, because you have the, like, weirdly shaped business. It's a triangle. It's got a cut out of the side. It's got transparent things. Um, but one of the things that people would do to differentiate is make them thick or heavy, so mm -hmm. that way it feels weightier or more important than your typical just, like, cut. And, I've, I've gone through a lot of meetings where I've gotten a lot of business cards, right? And I've seen all types. <laughs> And these are some of the strategies that people use to optimize their business cards, right? I would love it if there was some subversion of that. Where, like, if you were the guy who handed me the wet, floppy business card, I'd be like, I'm listening. You've got my attention, at least. You'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> it even has a watermark. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're pulling it into American Psycho stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Water is, that, is that ivory? <laughs> is, that, is that beige? Off-white? Bone? Is that Bone? <laughs> He's like sweating. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I love that. One of the best scenes of that movie. 
Honestly, if you've never seen American Psycho, fantastic scene where they're just comparing business cards. It's great. Type, the typeset and everything. Oh, yeah. So good. But yeah, a wet sopping. Is that one wet? <laughs> Got my attention. All right. So the, so it's interesting. So she's watching a, the kids show on her phone, which means it already exists. At first, I'm like, oh, is she going to get kidnapped or something by the, the tall man and become this character, right? Is she being like brainwashed or put into the show? But the show already exists pre her. And the show is saying, hey, don't open the door. Don't don't talk to strangers stuff. So unless it's a time loop, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So maybe she's the newest clown girl or maybe it's who knows. All right, let's keep on. Acting. Not your normal kid show. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, see, now it's I'm not just so kids that seriously don't watch this. It's wasn't the first one. Don't seriously. Kids don't watch this. Now it's just seriously. Don't watch this. I also, yeah. I also love that it's the anti-content strategy. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the more you tell someone to not do something, the more they're going to... Hey, guys, if you could do me a favor, don't subscribe to GT Live. If you could do that, don't, do not subscribe to this channel. In fact, anti-subscribe to this channel. Anti-unsubscribe to this channel. Yeah. If you could do that, that'd be great. Please. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'm so glad you decided to join me again. But before we start... It's time to do our laundry. Awesome. It's so dark in here. Let's turn on the light. All done. That's Great. <laughs> I've seen performance art pieces open that way before. <laughs> <laughs> right where what, it flips on the light. It's like, it's like the red silhouette. <laughs> crouched over start, start doing some like modern dance moves <laughs> sliding across the floor honestly if a modern art piece started like that and then someone was just doing laundry in the background <laughs> 10 out of 10 oh man I, I, that is that would that would put it better than like 90 percent of the performance art pieces that i've seen that would sweep at a fringe festival right oh yeah because <laughs> a lot of the performance art like it's like it's knowingly performance art and it's it's just like pretentious for the own sake of pretentiousness but if you were to do that with something absolutely mundane in the background or a, a, a counter to it that'd be amazing <laughs> i would love that so here's like clown girl doing her makeup and then got like i i am darkness i have all the emotions <laughs> that wasn't so hard now was it oh my it's almost <gasps> night time let's oh, all go outside and say goodbye to the sun <laughs> Thank you for today. Stop watching it, see? Before it's too late. Oh, it's gonna suck me into the TV, isn't it? Well, I should head to bed before mother gets angry. We don't want to upset our parents now, do see? we? Life Thanks lessons. for watching. And remember. Don't hug your leg outside of your blanket past eleven. <laughs> Bye now. What? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> Lol, what? And remember. <laughs> hey! She's getting my bonus watch time for that one, because now it's like, oh, what? Wait, what? So what did she say? Hold up. Well, I should head to bed. Okay, hold on. Let me crank this up. Before mother gets angry. Okay, so we got to watch out for mother. So you got tall man and mother. We don't want to upset our parents. Certainly now, not. Do we? This is that. It's lessons like that that's gonna get me to show this to Ollie. I'm gonna be like, Ollie, this is a very important show. You're gonna learn a lot of important <laughs> lessons. Don't talk to strangers. Don't open the door to strangers. Don't upset your parents. Thanks for and also whatever this is. And remember, don't hug your leg outside of your blanket past 11. <laughs> don't something something past 11. Do you, can you make it out? I You have headphones on, so maybe you're having a better luck at it. Yeah, hold up. Oh, yeah, switch the plug. Ugh. All right. Thanks for watching. And remember, don't hug your leg outside of your blanket past 11. <laughs> don't do your thing something something past 11. It's very fast and low. Thanks for watching, and remember... Don't hug your leg outside of your blanket past 11. <laughs> Bye! Don't put your legs out of the blanket past 11? Is that what I'm hearing correctly? Oh, don't stick your legs out. Don't stick your legs out of the blanket past 11. Well, I should head to bed before Mother gets angry. We don't want to upset our parents now, do we? Thanks for watching, and remember... Don't hug your leg outside of your blanket past 11. I think that's it. Yeah, Yeah, don't stick so. your legs out of the blanket past 11. There you go. Advi See, this is advice to live by. 
Also, past 11, it's gonna be cold. I also like the bucking of the trend that's not 3 a.m. <laughs> don't stick your legs out of the blanket past 3 a.m. Finally. <laughs> at, at that point, I don't have a say in my life. Like, if my legs are out of the blanket, I, I'm, I'm a hot mess at 3 a.m. Just splayed out every... I, I, I am out of control at that point. Starfish mode? Actually, I, I, Stephanie is fully starfish mode. Mm -hmm. Stephanie is a starfisher. I'm a, like, fetal position as tiny as possible. Oh, and yeah. And do not move. Yeah. So, I'm... I have no concern about putting my legs out of the blanket past 11, but other people might, yeah, certainly. Fair. It's a miracle if I'm in the blanket at 11. <laughs> I was about to say this, and I'm glad that the comment actually called it out. I was going to make a Teletubbies joke about the sun here, because even though this is disturbing, that baby sun from Teletubbies, did you see the baby sun in Teletubbies? Absolutely, I did. Like, that thing was terrifying. I was more scared of the random speakers slowly and ominously raising from the ground sure. to say, it's Teletubby time. <laughs> there, was, there was a lot disturbing in Teletubbies. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. This is disturbing. Teletubbies, more disturbing. Yeah. On, on, a, on a scale of, of 1 to 10, Teletubbies is like 11. So much darkness in that show. Them sucking down their tubby tustard. Weird... <laughs> Pink goo that's oozing everywhere. Is it custard or custard? It's custard, but the way they pronounced it was like, Tubby Tusta! Tubby Tusta! Tubby Tusta! Here. I'm, I'm, you, don't, you look like you don't believe me. So I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Devilish hairdress. I love that this is just a random <laughs> thing that is immediately... I like that I type in YouTube and this is the default. The default one that came up. Uh, tell a... Here. Tell a tubbies. Custard. I want to hear them say it and make sure I'm not hallucinating. One day in Teletubby land, it was time for Tubby Custard. <gasps> tubby Custard! Tubby Custard! Time for Tubby Custard. <gasps> okay, there was a little I, bit more of a C I, there. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay, so my... my <laughs> my my childhood brain may have misremembered that one. Or maybe just Poe has better articulation than the rest of the crew. Maybe. Poe is just very articulate for a Teletubby. Look, I will it's harder because you can't really read the lips of the Teletubbies. No, sir, you can't. Are there lips? Uh, there's, um... Muzzle? There's a muzzle. There's a muzzle, yeah. Can you read the muzzle of... Like, really? <laughs> I, I love that in the modern day... We're trying to make these things disturbing and be like, oh, look at how scary kids pro Kids programming has always been horrific. Yeah. This is horrific. <laughs> this weird creature, alien creature jumping around, mumbling, <laughs> moderately moving its mouth. <laughs> Poe. Also, can I just say, Poe, too chaotic. I couldn't stand Poe. <laughs> Dipsy was where it was at. Tipsy knew it was up. Dipsy and, and Tinky Winky. They oh, knew Tinky was, Winky was Tinky Winky bestie. was goat. Yeah. <laughs> Go Tinky Winky. Uh, so we're, we're doing our sun salutations here. <laughs> it's odd. Odd clock. Turn on the lights. Cool. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to piece together lore to this. We're saying goodnight to the sun. Stop watching this before it's too... So, by, so the girl that's abducted by the tall man or attacked by the tall man... She does not stop watching it, and so she's attacked by him and brought into the world of the show. We'll have to find out. Okay, so there's two more of these. Let's see. Oh. Oh, H. Oh. Oh, nice. Excuse me, I haven't put on my face for the day. Oh, hi. You're here early. Sometimes it's good to be early. But our show starts at a specific time. You should remember that. Let's get started then, shall we? <laughs> okay. And it ends at 8 p.m. We know when it ends, 8 p.m. So, okay. Stop watching, it's not what it seems. I love it when the, the lore tells me this and I don't have to put it together myself, honestly. That's that's very nice, that's very convenient. Yeah. Like, hey, this is, this is something else entirely. <laughs> lore alert. Also, there's an E. It's gonna spell out something. E. H-E. Hello. He. Help. Uh, heavy, heathen. Um, Heathcliff. Ooh, hearse. Hershey. That was an excellent. <laughs> it's all a brand deal. It's a <laughs> hash, and then it ends with hashtag spawn. Oh god, the end card. <laughs> the, 
<laughs> was that sponsored by Hershey? Man, real Hershey's sponsoring some strange stuff these days. That was an excellent cup of tea. Thank you, Tall Man. Oh, Tall Man's back. Welcome back, Wait, hold up. Everyone. Is, is, tall, is Tall Man's pants on zip? Thank you, Tall, tall, tall Man. X Y Z. Tumblr sexy man behavior. <laughs> <laughs> it's like half. You're, you're at half mast right now, but wait, no, that's sorry, that's something completely different. <laughs> nope. Different, different thing. Well, that's with flags. What, what? That's with flags. Is it? With half mast, right? Uh, it, I, I don't. At this point, I would like to move the conversation <laughs> away from that phrase because I feel like it can mean a lot of different things. And I feel like most of them are bad. So instead, let's just say, hey, tall man, zip up your zipper. And that's it. Okay. We're, we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Tall man. Welcome back, everyone. So glad to see you again. Thank you. It's been so long. I thought you forgot about me. Certainly it's not. It's not nice to forget about your friends. Right, tall man? <laughs> oh, that was a cool effect. Right, tall man? That's awesome. That was fun. I like that. <laughs> You're so funny, tall man. Oh my. Come with me, everyone. I've been growing something special for a oh, while. Oh, 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 they're, oh, they're getting into it now. Uh oh, oh, they're learning. They're learning. I love it. How do you do frame by frame on TikTok? I know growing how you do it on YouTube. Growing something. Unravel. Reality. I've been growing something special. Unravel reality. Is that for what it is? a while. <laughs> it's like a like an arcade oh, now. game. I Shoot. Was it Unravel Reality? Come with me, everyone. I think so. I've been growing something. Oh, God. No, and this skip bit. Come skip. with me, everyone. How do you do frame by frame I've on been TikTok? Growing something Unravel Reality. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm, that's just what it is. You could change your plugin um, play speed to just be super slow. You're so right. Here, I guarantee it, the comments. I'm guaranteed it. Unravel reality. Those are the words which flashed. Great. Thank you, Liv. Those Liv. are the words which flashed. <laughs> Those are the words which flashed. Thank you. Uh, oh, don't hug me. I'm scared. It's we happy for you. I can see that. Absolutely. This gives me a man of the adventurer. Also malignant. Yeah, I was wondering. That did look familiar. Uh, malignant. Crazy horror comedy movie from last year. Wild. But the whole opening of parting the hair and having this like weird face or eyeball or whatever back there very malignant absolutely 100 percent i've been growing some unravel reality special for a while now i think it's close to blooming oh it was oh <laughs> great oh wait there's an l i see an l down there now. oh so it's gonna be it's help. gonna be help it could still be hello or helter skelter Oh, there's oh. just gonna be a lot of letter in the last 20 seconds of this video. It's gonna be a lot of secret letters <laughs> sprinkled around. It's so beautiful. Remember, always water your plants so they grow strong and healthy. True. Well, it looks like that's all P. the time we have for today. We Help. always have such fun. Full. You can always trust, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. The editing on that implies I'll that I can't. I'll see you very trust soon. Him. Bye now. So he's trapped in here, right? I mean, it appears it, that way. Right? It's saying help unravel reality. So, so yes, to some extent. So the idea of like, here's bugs, but they're actually grapes. And here's a, a cry for help in the background. It seems like it is, and you have a real person who is watching the show being kidnapped in. So it seems like this girl at some point was just like the other girl who was listening to the music, gets taken in by the tall man because she let him in because she listened to the, the blood spattered blood dotted mm -hmm. business card uh let him in he takes her and then throws her into whatever prison cage simulation what have you which then they're kind of forced to make this kid show for some reason and then they're trapped in there and that's that's their kind of prison all right oh it looks like we're getting someone lip sync weird core oh, this, this is definitely we're gonna welcome to the land of uh copyright unfriendly music so we're gonna have to like Simulate what's going on here. Oh, okay. It's fine. We'll, we'll describe for you what the lyrics are saying. And we'll be silent as it plays so that way we don't overlap things.
Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. So it seems like this uh, is showing that, okay, so she's kidnapped and then she's made into this character. <laughs> On what? It's like, oh, he snapped her neck and, and so she's dead and now she's put into this, this world or this digitized state or whatever. I see this, though, and I have gone down such a rabbit hole of chiropractic content on YouTube and YouTube Shorts. Is it just me? I, well, who else out there is really fascinated by chiropractor content right now? Because tell you what, the first time I saw it, I was disturbed. Since then, though, I'm like, man, I'm fascinated by this. You crave it a little bit, don't you? A little bit. Yeah. It's, it's really satisfying. Right? Do you have any favorite chiropractors? I don't yet. I haven't really gotten to the level where I'm able to distinguish their techniques or things like that. All I'm waiting for is that, like, the, the snap and then the, like, emotional outpouring that comes <laughs> afterward. The snap and then the noise. This, it's, it's crazy. Have you been to a chiropractor? Yeah, I actually went because of a rabbit hole I went down. Of really? YouTube videos. Yeah, I went to one of those chain ones, though, so it didn't get a whole lot done. Yeah. But those initial tests that they do on you to see, like, what bones yeah. are in place and, like, what you can do. Yeah. Um, eye opening for sure. Yeah. They put your fingers, their fingers like all up and down, um, the parts of your like vertebrae. Your spine. Yeah. Um, yeah. and you would put in certain spots and be like, push against my arm when I hold down this part of your back. Uh -huh. and I'm like, okay. And there were some parts where if he pressed it down, my arm would just psh, fall over because I couldn't do it. And he's like, C3 is out. And then go to the next thing. Wait, what? So you would push down. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so he would like hold on to your individual vertebra. Yeah. And then so, what would pushing them? I'm so, I've never, so I, I, I'm sure, I'm hopeful that most of you know what I'm talking about. There's so many YouTube shorts at this point of like chiropractors doing their assessments of people and then be, like, and you're like, oh my gosh, that poor person is dead now. <laughs> and and they're like, whoa, this is the first time I've felt things in years. And and it's this huge snap. And years of being trained on movies, you're like, oh my gosh, this poor person is totally dead. But the crack is aligning the vertebra in some way and, and getting you into a straight. And it's like relieving the pressure and the tension. And the person's like, I'm my life has changed now. And so it's gone from this like horrific thing that I'm like, I can't believe this is happening to oh this is so satisfying to watch people get realigned or whatever yeah um which is fascinating to me and I've, I've been so intrigued by this but i i've never been to a chiropractor i've never known anyone who's actually gone to a chiropractor and so the r realization that this is like normal that a lot of people get this like neck snapping thing done and it helps is wild to me yeah there's a lot of talk about whether or not it's more of like a um placebo sort of treatment sure, measure sure um because it does really it's just like the releasing it's like when you crack your knuckles right mm -hmm. um that's releasing the releasing air. of that the, the gas the air yeah it's not there is debate as to whether or not it actually moves your bones mm -hmm. um i've seen some conflicting well because um, academic papers well because also but, i mean i haven't read up on cracking your knuckles but i remember i used to be a knuckle cracker and then when i was a kid someone brought up to me that that increases your likelihood of getting arthritis by removing the, the air bubbles or what? Like, I don't know. Ashes roll in their eyes. Yeah. But like, it, I don't I don't know what the science is, right? But someone at one point said like, oh, there was a survey, a scientific survey that said like that, that actually increases the likelihood that you're going to have bad joints when you grow up. So I stopped. Like, that was my hard pass. I'm like, no. So hearing that it's releasing the like bubble bubbles in your back. That's wacky. Back bubbles. Back, back bubbles. Back bubbles. Back bubbles. So you win. Okay, so they're holding on to your vertebra, and then what happens? Yeah, so... Um, Sorry. I, no, for sure. So I was laying down and um, on their specialized little, like, bed things, yeah. and um, the chiropractor had two of his fingers along, like, here on my neck, yeah. right? Um, and then I had my arm straight up. Uh -huh. And he would, with one hand, be holding on the bones, and the other have his arm against the back of my arm, and okay. I would have to push against him. Yeah. Um, and then he would move yeah. his fingers to a different like vertebrae yeah. and be like, keep pushing. And then there were some where if he put his finger on it, uh -huh. my, psh, it would just like, it would just fall shut down your arm. Yeah. Like he would, cause Whoa! he would be pushing too. And I would like, be pushing back like a wacky pressure point thing. Yeah. And it would just fall. That's not, and he was like, Oh, well that's out. And I'm like, Oh no. Uh huh. And then. And then did you give him all your money and did he no. fix your back? Oh, okay. No, I never I, saw that man again. I had an angry, um, an angry man with uh, 
<laughs> seems like a lot of angst. Um. <laughs> the angsty chiropractor. I would, you know what? That is a that is a TikTok channel that I would watch. That is a YouTube channel that I would absolutely watch. The angsty chiropractor. Well, he Just like you- moody <laughs> and slightly aggressive, a little uh, passive aggressive. Yeah. Like, uh, vertebra's out. <laughs> As if it was something that I had done. Like... Oh, carrying a lot of tension there. It's like, yeah, I, I, yes, I'm sorry. Please, please help me. Oh, you're keeping it all in your shoulder blades. Uh, okay, what, what do you want me to do about that? I, I, I don't, I didn't intend to it. Would it be better if I kept it like in my lower back? That's so. Should consistent. I be clenching my buttocks? What do you need from me? Right, and then you know they have they ask you to go into these different positions. Right? I'm, I'm paralyzing myself as we speak. They ask you to go into these different positions so that they could do certain adjustments. Yeah. Um, but he would mumble what he wanted me to do and get increasingly frustrated when I couldn't understand him. To the point where he'd just really? be like, Psh, and like push my back to the thing oh so I'd come down. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. Oh my gosh. So how's your back doing these days? Oh, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, I've got an angsty chiropractor. <laughs> I got the hookup. <laughs> it's gonna push on your vertebra and paralyze you. It's great. So anyway, I, I, I let, so tell us your chiropractic stories down in the comments because I'm so curious. I'm so curious. I am, because of these videos, this is one of those times. I, I feel like I'm not very affected by advertising or content in general. Like I, I see things, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And it's fun to learn about it. Rarely does it enact me to be like, I need to do this thing now, right? Like mm-hmm. I see people go to Mexico or whatever. I'm like, I don't, I'm not, in, that doesn't convince me like, oh, I need to do the same thing that they're doing now. It's, it's like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe at some point down the line, I'll do it or whatever. Or if that, like, I'll just be like, oh, that was cool. And I'll keep going about my day. Like, I feel like I'm not particularly affected by a lot of that advertising stuff. This is one of those times though, where I'm like, this seems so satisfying. Yeah. And I have like those places in my body where I'm like, oh yeah, I keep my tension there. I wonder if this would like change that at all or like open something up or loosen me up or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm so curious. So this is one of those times where I've seen the content like being like, oh, I'm seriously considering this. So I'd love to know your experiences or recommendations or whether it works or whether it doesn't. I have no idea. My personal recommendation is go to a private practitioner. I, I believe yeah. Don't go to one of those chain ones. Yeah, no, no. I don't yeah. think you would want to do a chain. Like I, if you're doing it, I feel like you got to do it right. Yeah, because if you go to a chain one, it's like 10 minutes you're in and you're out. Really? You're just like, go, bye. Yeah. But like I want one of those those TikTok chiropractors who sits me down and just uh, like, Double T. Remember, double, du- du- oh, the double T. Right. Um, I don't want to get throttled for using on, unofficial language on, the, on the, the platform of YouTube.com. On the Tea Time app. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because there's only, I, honestly, there's only one platform for both long and short form and live stream content, and that is obviously YouTube. Right, of course, of course. Slash you slash game theorist. <laughs> <laughs> slash GT Lab. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. Yep. Totally. Uh, so back to the creepy clown girl. There she is. There she is. Creepy Clown Girl, BV Key, and that's it. That's the last of them. Okay. Yeah. This is an ongoing scene. When was this uploaded? Can I Four find days one? ago. Four days ago. Okay, so this is this is still, and it seems like, where was the first one? First one was, is this a recent thing? This one? No, this is Welcome Back. This is the first one. Do you know where the tall man is? Okay, so this is a thing that literally just started couple of weeks ago uh 522 may yeah may so late may so this is a, okay so this is cool so this is a brand new series that is happening in real time and uh, and is obviously doing very very well for her um so i would expect she does what most people would do in this situation which is lean in like hey this is a series that's taken off for me like let me mix in the kardashian stuff and you know some of this other spooky stuff it looks like some cosplay little skip base things but it seems like these are coming out on almost like a weekly basis i would say like lean in and do that so i'm excited i'm excited to keep track of this one i don't think that there's enough here for like a film this would be a film theory i don't think there's enough here for a film theory yet but i think give it another month or two like by the end of the summer or whatever where if they are keeping a cadence of every week or something like that absolutely i am so excited to see where this goes i think the production value is cool 
I think the scares are actually there. I, I think it, it really is reading as a very cool series to me. Um, so this is a fantastic recommendation from you guys over in the Game Theory subreddit. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Also, uh, congratulations to BVK. This is, this is awesome. Thanks for creating something that feels reminiscent of things that we've talked about, but also feels fresh and different. Uh, I like the style of this. Uh, also, just kudos to her performance throughout. Like, it's, yeah. it's of a style that I really like. One of the things coming from theater, and this is something that I, I talk to people a lot when we're on set or things like that, the clean beats and the performances, you know, and she's, like, very focused and, like, oh, I'm moving my eyes in this moment and you're directing the attention and everything's, like, very sharp and stylized, which works really well for this sort of show. Um, so stylistically, tonally, performance-wise, across the board, this is... She's, she's got stuff. I'm excited about this one. This is really, this is exciting. Um, so there you have it. That is uh, initial reactions to the first five episodes of Not Your Normal Kids Show by VV Key. Uh, you know, keep, keep track of this one. Uh, follow them if you happen to be on uh, any other non-YouTube-based uh, platforms <laughs> that, that distribute short-form digital video. Go for it. Um, <laughs> And who knows, maybe at some point this show will get ported over to YouTube Shorts, the proper way to watch short-form content. <laughs> you know, because uh. there can only be one in... Because competition is a thing that we don't want to foster. Why is soft monopoly happening Why? Right now? I, I know, right? It's so sad. Welcome welcome to the world. It's so sad. So anyway, that's a whole other can of worms <laughs> over for another day. In the meantime, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!